ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at an insane amount of precipitable water. And that is water from soon to be Hurricane Idalia that is willing to participate in the storm. So, yeah, super red alert at this point. I definitely feel like it's going to be a major hurricane that hits somewhere in Florida. And hey, Mike of Mike's weather page, who lives in Tampa Bay, is saying, I don't want to sound like an alarmist, but living in the Tampa Bay area, my biggest concern has always been a strong hurricane passing off the coast without a direct landfall. Current surge maps on the NHC map here already showing some impact similar to Etta and maybe more. So you know all the shit that comes along with the hurricane. Storm surge, heavy winds, massive rain, power outages, and arson. What? DC Drano um, is one of those people who, you know, talks about politics all the time. He's an influencer. He lives in Tampa Bay, though. Um, and apparently he wants all the conservatives and everybody in Tampa Bay to be worried that this shit isn't climate change, but you definitely need to watch out for arson? What, dude? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I mean, at least Cat Turd actually brought awareness to the hurricane. Cat Turd also lives somewhere near Tampa Bay, I think. The Jim Cantori retweet. Strange days. Note to self, stay on target. Okay, so one of the things that freaks me out about this storm is, notice how it's just boil, toil, and trouble? I mean, it's just sitting there, and just sitting there, and just sitting there. And at some point, it's going to like gain strength, and then it's going to start gaining more strength. It's going to rapidly intensify, and then it's going to move north. But the fact that it's just kind of sitting there, like Popeye eating spinach or some shit, it's not a good sign. Anyway, so yeah, I think it's going to be a major hurricane. It'll hit late Tuesday night or Wednesday. Um, I think there's a good chance it could be a Category 4. We'll talk about that in a second. But right now, I'd actually like to jump ahead 10 days from the 29th. to We're watching, boom, hurricane. And then, boom, we're talking about double hurricane hit. I mentioned in the last video I made, the GFS is showing it again. We're having like a 10 day pattern where we had Tropical Storm Hillary for C California. And then now we have Major Hurricane Adalia Idalee coming on the 29th or 30th. And then 10 days from that, the GFS is showing the possibility of a double hurricane hit so one in the Gulf and then one in the Tudor. Oh man. Yeah, this could be the craziest. Hurricane season of the modern age, or not? We'll see what happens. Hey, what br what brought you to Thor News? Would you see my ad on a bus? Did you see a TV commercial that said, "Hey, Thor News"? Probably not. I don't do advertising. All right, so we watched that storm, which is two weeks away. We don't really necessarily need to worry about it today. So these are the storms. So notice how you get the double thing? Could have been double trouble, but no. But boom, nine fifty nine. That's a Category Three hurricane, pretty much. Almost, it is. So yeah, we're talking about major hurricane shit here. And I pretty much predicted this hurricane 13 days ago. So I feel special. And that's cool. Just do what I can to help everybody out. And, um, yeah, I got a feeling this one's going to be bad. We're exactly where it's going to go. I don't know. My gut feeling is anywhere around here, but I could be totally wrong. It's best to just watch. And tomorrow morning, this thing could be a monster. Right now, they say it's still a tropical storm, but look at that convection just grow. Rapid intensification is underway. And hey, what do you know? Ida Lee uh, continues to defy model forecast this evening with the continued south-southeast trajectory as more deep convection imitates. Intimates? Whatever. Such small-scale trends are difficult to, for global models. But yeah, dude, that looks like trouble. That's what I'm trying to say. But this is your bubble, trouble, toiling, fubble alert, man. It's definitely this is what's happening i'm sorry for what i said when it was 109 degrees outside people who complain about stuff all the time are damn near useless asterisk all right so i want everybody to stay cool play defense if you are in the florida danger zone 
I definitely wouldn't downplay this thing at all. And beware of the eye storm. Storms that have eye names. And here's the crazy thing. Irma, which I covered. Cat 4, 2017. Ida, Cat 4, 2021. Ian, Cat 4, 2022. And um, I'm definitely one of the people who's like, yeah, man, you definitely can't rule out major hurricane shit most of the time at the time. A lot of meteorologists are like, nah, it's probably just going to be a cat one. And later they're like, holy shit. Anyway, it's not our first radio, but I'll be prepared. It's 2023. Ocean's like boiling hot because of Orson, man. Thank you, political monkey. Now you can go back to uh, farming people's outrage engagement on the X. Congratulations. Ariana Grande. I See, I'd much rather talk about beautiful women than... um politicians ariana grande broke up with her tour manager and it's still just a form of gossip do we really want to be gossip gals you know anyway what was i talking about yeah the hurricane yeah 11 feet of storm surge is a lot of storm surge y'all remember last time we thought it was gonna hit tampa but then it shifted south now we think it's gonna hit here we being asterisk so be prepared for shit's shift shelf or north Mercury retrograde to make it made talk bad, and then Venus retrograde, and then you got five planets total retrograde, and then Uranus goes retrograde tomorrow. That'll be six planets retrograde. So the next week or 10 days are going to be absolutely insane. So buckle up, stay cool, be prepared. I'll talk to you in the near future. God bless everyone.